So that quintessential Carol Danvers, for me, as someone who's somewhat new to comics, I've found it a little hard to get started with Carol Danvers' stories. She's done so much throughout her 50 years. So how would you explain to someone who's new to comics, what's her journey? That was the conversation and the question that we we started out with when we were trying to develop the life of Captain Marvel because she's had such a vast experience. Like we're talking about 50 years of Carol Danvers. What does that actually mean? What is the sort of quintessential experience? How do you describe who she is? And, you know, I think fundamentally she is someone who is very um, unapologetic, who is really unstoppable. Um, and yet she has, and she has this really tough exterior, and she's, of course, beautiful and power, all these things, but she has this, like, vulnerability to her that we wanted to explore, and when we looked at sort of the entire run of Carol Danvers, we realized we didn't really talk about, like, who she actually was as a human being. We focused so much on these Kree elements of her power set and how she her powers were activated, so we wanted to focus more on who she was, yes, as a fighter pilot, but also as, as a daughter, as a sister, and all of these things that she experienced. And when you look back at those runs, there was only like, what, maybe 10 pages, maybe a full issue's worth of her talking about her family. And like, you think about, all, we think about all of our experiences in life and how much of it is defined by the people that we grew up around, whether it's our family, our friends, the people we love, who love us the people we hate, <laughs> you know, all of that, that really defines us. And I think that's where we wanted to go back to ground and, and and delve into that a little bit more. Who is she to you? What makes her special? You see in pop culture in general, a lot of people seem to think that like with a feminist character, you can't bring them down. Like you can't show them make mistakes, for example, really big mistakes. And Carol has made some big ones. And I think that's part of what draws me to her is that she's this complex, incredibly stubborn character who wants to always do the right thing, but stumbles into the wrong thing sometimes. Like we see people like Tony Stark have those problems all the time, but I feel like we don't see it in a lot of female characters. So I like that Carol is so um, fully fleshed out in that way. She felt like a real person who had these, you know, traumatic experiences, like Rogue taking her memories, like she has this long history, but ultimately she comes out as the fighter.